because I want to start something that has the possibility of changing ladies' lives because there was a couple of months ago I found out a, a survey that I was reading that said the average woman learns to love her body at the age of 45. And I was like, that is just crazy that so many of us waste our so many years of our life mm. just hating ourselves. Mm. And I put a hashtag up, which was why wait, which was what Marie Claire was doing. And I put it up on the B105 Facebook page. And a lot of people were really supportive and was like, yeah, we're wasting our time with it. And there was a couple of comments that I guess I should feel that that's a compliment. Yeah. But I got a little bit upset by it because there's a lot of people that was like, yeah, well, it's good enough for Abby. She's got no complaints. Or if I looked like her, I wouldn't have an issue. And mm. I guess I should take that as a compliment. But I sort of feel that I've worked so many years trying to be okay with my body. Because I've, I've never hit the fact that I had pretty serious eating disorders. And when I mean serious, mm. I mean from the age of 17. Mm. I, it's disgusting to talk about. And I think it's disgusting to listen to. But I was, I was severely bulimic. I was to the point where my teeth were eroding. Well, and I, I think had... it's, it's important to talk about. Yeah, I, I think there's anything wrong with it. Because makes people feel uncomfortable. Well, that's good. I mean, but yeah. you don't want you don't want 17 year olds not thinking you can't. Good for you. It's confronting, but I think you need to hear the details of what yeah. happens. Yeah, because I used to actually have sores on my hands. Mm throwing up that much. Because the, the vomit putting... eradicates your teeth, doesn't it? The chemicals in yeah, the Yeah, which the is why vomit. I bleach my teeth these days. Right. Because of, as a result of that, mm. that I do. And I, I went through so many years of um, therapy to try and get over it. And anyone that thinks they can go through it by themselves and heal it, I strongly urge you to go to a professional to try and get help about it. And I sort of was, was working trying to get over that, but I was like, it's not really just the eating for me. It was my whole life. I just wasn't where I thought I was going to go. At the age of 25, I think I just completely crumbled. I just realised I had nothing. I came out of drama school and I thought I was going to be like a famous actress and I just couldn't do any audition. I just didn't have any confidence. And I moved back home with my family, uh, with my parents, into the old room that was still pink. Um, <laughs> into a single bed. I had $50 in my bank account. Um, I had my old Datsun, which um, had a radiator issue, which meant I had to, if I went for longer than an hour, I had to fill up with water. Um, and I had enough money probably to go down to Centrelink to get the doll. And I remember lining up thinking I'm better than this and went, no, I'm actually I'm not. I couldn't get a job. Mm. I was handing in resumes everywhere and I was just, just really low. I didn't have a boyfriend. I hated my body. I hated myself. I hated all my life. And I was drinking way too much. And I caught up with a friend of mine who was like, what are you doing with your life? And I was like, I just don't have anything at the moment. And I just thought I would be so successful by then. And he said to me, which is something that stays with me forever, he said, if you had the confidence, what would you do? And I was like, it's such an important question to ask. Because I was like, well, I guess the happiest I was is when I was doing Black Thunders, working at the radio station. And he said, well, why don't you go back and do that? And it took me another year and a half <laughs> to get the confidence to even go into the radio station to ask if I could just do panelling jobs. And that took mm. me a year and a half. And in that year and a half, I just had the opportunity to, to work on myself. And I thought, think about all the years I wasted hating myself when I could have actually achieved more. Mm. And I think of all the people that are wasting their lives when they're not living to their full potential. And this is for ladies. This is what I want to do. <laughs> I think there's so many ladies that could live a better life, whether they are in a job that they just hate and they don't think they deserve to get a better job, whether they're just plagued by body issues which are just holding them back, mm -hmm. in bad relationships, um, sexually, they might not be able to even be intimate with people, they might be in financial debt and it's just destroying their lives. Mm -hmm. I would, I would beg them to, to register at b105.com.au for my self-esteem team because we're going to hook you up with professionals that can completely change your life. It's funny you're running us through sort of the time because I've known you for like 13 years now and the person I know now is so different to the person who I sort of met and then watched go away to Sydney and went into acting and everything like that and you really closed down for a few years. You know, yeah. we, we would speak but... You know, you just wouldn't see a true side of you. It's because you're too nice to me. And I was just in a self-destructive phase where I just hated myself. So you don't want to be close to anyone. Mm. You just don't want people to be nice to you. And I just think it's such an important thing to say, if you had the confidence, what would you do? And this is, if you want to finish that statement, you can, 13, 10, 60. If you had the confidence, what would you do right now? What is holding you back? 
in your life because we're going to hook you up with professionals that could change it and we're going to have so much fun while we're doing it as well we've got a lot of meetings about this the, the yes. next couple of weeks it's going to be great mm. what, what you've got planned looks amazing stylists life coaches but it isn't just a makeover thing either. You no. know, it's it, it's it's a makeover, but it's a complete inside and out makeover. Yeah, it's so much more than just physical. Mm. All right, so yeah. on thirteen ten sixty, you want to know if people had confidence, what would they do? Get the confidence to give us a call. <laughs> That's the first step. <laughs> and of course, if you don't want to give us a call, but you want to be involved with this, you do need to be available. Um, we set the dates that you need to be available because we are going to go away to a five star retreat. It's going to be amazing. Uh, go to b105.com.au and click on Abby Self Esteem Team. That's but you're right. Have a look at the details though, because the dates are quite specific. Uh -huh. uh, so you've got to be available for those. But uh, it's just gone 14 and 9. I reckon this is one of the best things we've done. We'll come back and take your calls next.